like the goal here. The shop leads into a bad path, though. In fact, a lot of this is fraught with misery, this whole path in general. Do we take the shop and then hope that we can handle this elite anyways? Alright, so we're going for a high volume of, of... We're going for a high volume of runs. We're not really necessarily going for... I'm not necessarily going for, what's it called? Like a run every single... Every run's gonna be a win. I mean, I do try my best, but... I'd rather just get like a nice volume of fun, interesting stuff going on. Great clip. Hey, thanks for clipping that, dude. You just love to catch me my, my, when I'm dying. I love it. I love it. So do any, do any of you guys have a act uh, an April Fool's thing that happened to you, whether it's something you did or something that happened to you recently, just today? I kind of I'm out of the spirit of April Fools. Hmm, I'll do another one. All right, guys, write this down. We found it, boys. Everybody, abandon all plans. Add it to the list, baby. Add it to the list. We're going. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead, everybody. I know I should probably buy a fire pot to kill this elite, right? If it, I know I had the Romali deck, but I should probably buy a fire pot to kill this elite. Seriously. Fuck. Full speed ahead. You like your before? Yeah. The end of the list. It doesn't really matter, but. I have neutralized. Why would I want that? Fusion will dodge and roll. Fusion will, baby. You're not going to memorize. You don't want to put memorize in that. Is they good passwords? Yeah, they are good passwords. I'll give, I'll give them that. They are good passwords. So, fun facts. Not, I, I don't, I'm not worried about you guys knowing about this fact because I've changed it up over the years a little bit, but... So when I was in high school, I did some I did some online classes to get more classes done online, and um, they gave me like a, a randomized password that was kind of complex and interesting, or just complex or whatever, and I used that password or variation of it as my password for a long time afterwards. You're out of space, really? Hmm. I'll cut her skewer. Uppercut on the on the silent. Skewer is pretty good because we need some front loaded right now. Hmm. Interesting choice. Some of those seats, some of those seats should go. I remember, I remember I specifically asked one of those seats to be taken away because it was actually just not working out. Forget which. I need my, I need my poison staffs to be like stacked up. The fact that they didn't get them together was really bad. It's really bad. I didn't get them together. Twelve right now. Twelve plus four, plus three. I think we're gonna have lethal. So this is a full block. If anything, I, I over pushed for damage, right? Alright, so I took a really, really aggressive Act 1 path, but because I took the gold, we ended up getting, um... So we took a lot of damage from that fight, and we got the Elite out of the way, but we got the Prismatic Shard. 
I suppose. So that was the trade-off. The thing is, I already added so much offense to my deck. So ball lightning. This is this is just this is worse than a deflect, right? But for me right now, it technically is a deflect, which I can add to the deck. I need the defense. Um, and ball lightning is interesting. But I've already added so much offense to my deck, and I need some like, some block. What's better than what's what's up, Senna? How you doing, man? Haven't seen you in some time. A lot of different upgrades I need to do. I need to upgrade Neutralize, Cow Traps if I want, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. This fight's rough. Sucks. You weren't joking about the top hat? I kind of like the cow traps though. How have you been, Senna? Hey, madness this early. I don't really have any good targets for it, and I think it's kind of a trap. One more, I'll take it. I was gonna go for another elite, but I ended up going this path for the shop. But the other elite might have been better because I think my deck has finally got to a place where I can handle it. Um, we could also take the sparkle. Oh, we can't take the sparkle. I sh if anything, I was going to go for the elite. I should have went this path to the left. It's kind of my bad. Oh well. Okay, we're not going to rest. I get a ghost in the jar. Could it be lot? It could be gremlin or it could be triple sentry. It's not suicidal. Ghost in the jar. Is this the curse? It's more of a curse since we don't have silent cards only. Right, we're getting cards from all. All, all different things. And in Venom, with Skewer, I mean, in an early event, I'm not really a big fan of in Venom, to be honest, and I don't really have. The only thing we could argue is that we have, by taking in Venom, we can find ways now to make it work. I'd rather move a strike 100%. Catalyst? I can see. It's not good by any means, especially with Prismatic Shard. You've been terrible. I hope you've, I hope you're feeling better, man. Uh, the runs have been going good. The streams have been good. The runs have been good. Hope you're alright, man. It's been good. It's been good on my end. Yeah, we're gonna remove a strike. I don't know if I'm gonna take catalyst though. Especially since I'm not gonna get poison offered to me. I can buy a fire. I don't necessarily feel like I need the firepower for the hexa ghost. As me being. Perhaps greedy. So I do want to upgrade. I want to upgrade the cow traps for the hexagos. So I probably also want to get an upgrade on poison stab. We could transform a strike. So do I feel like the upgrade on cow traps is that much more meaningful than a strike for transform? Well, I think cow traps is very good on hexagos fight in particular. It helps me get there. Transform a strike was uh, something that probably just is fine as well. Kind of a waste of skewer, but I mean, okay. I guess it helps me get both things out, which is not bad. Oh, 
Hologram, I think, is really nice on the silent. Especially, yeah, I like it a lot. I think Hologram is great. Uh, Donu. Typically, you kill Donu first. Like, in most situations, because... He's adding strength. He's giving them strength healing to both of them. There are certain times in certain decks where, like, you want to prioritize Gekka. Simply because you just gotta kill one of them. And you have Corp Explosion, or because of the days being something that's very, very negative for your deck in terms of like infinites or, you know, cycle decks. Okay, now this is interesting. Shit. On most occasions, you're killing Donut because he boasts new strength, but in a deck where it would make sense where you gotta minimize the days, and if you minimize the days, you go infinite or you pop off and kill Donut anyways, you would kill De Deca. Alright, so the, the, those are the situations where it would, it would make logical sense to kill Deca when you're in that situation. Uh, so we got Reaper and we've got. Consumer dash. Kind of like Reaper. Because healing doesn't come often on the silent. We don't really have strength, right? We have Pendip, though. And it gets rid of itself. So Reaper's just a good card. Dash is probably better for the deck. Dash makes the deck more consistent. But Reaper's kind of nice. But dash is definitely better here. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and do... I, I do think it's important to get the poison upgraded to get that scaly going on him, but maybe I can achieve the same thing by upgrading hologram to get more poison steps in. A little worried about our damage in this fight. That's not a bad skewer. I take one damage or just let this get work? Okay, it's fine. That, that definitely helps our damage considerably. Especially since I can do this and get Poison Step going. And that's all we need, right? The more Poison Step we can do like that with Hologram, it helps our damage for sure. Alright, I think we got it. Easy clap. GG. Isa GG. Pen up coming up. Pen him now for skewer. I can wait. I can wait. I'll do it now. More poison that when we win. Well, taking two damage. So if I if I do like strike strike, if I block right. I die, I take damage because he kills himself on his hit, but if I strike, 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 I take two damage. No, actually, he just... I take two damage. I take less damage that way. Yeah. Uh, okay, today definitely better is actually... I'm kind of a meme. It's not definitely better. I think dash makes sense. It makes the deck kind of solid, but Reaper has higher ceiling. And I would say potential. Uh, you know, the fact that we have Pendid, we have... The fact that it exhausted some AoE, it's healing on the silent. Limit break. Limit break is on the silent. Well, to be fair, we are going to find other cards, right? We're probably going to find Inflame or whatever. That's a very long shot. Corsair is the play. Corsair is just the play. Hovering Kite? Are you kidding me? I guess we have... Oh, and Mori's calling buzz a little less worse. Hovering Kai, we're not taking. Do we have Oma Mori? Now, okay, we could take the energy and get... Mm. Do we have Oma Mori, though? Mm. F it! F it, let's do it! Prismatic, when in doubt, we, get, we, f we go with the other Cursed Brethren. Oh my goodness. Alright, boys. You know what time it is. Prismatic, give me the corruption. Let's see here. So let's find a shop so we can... Well, shop's not going to help us there. How do we do on elites? 
It's like pretty bad, aren't don't we? Booker stabbing I'm okay with actually. Booker stabbing. Gremlin leader I would say not too hot. Slavers, I would say okay. Because if skewer alone and go so I can honestly I'm, I'm gonna do elite. I just don't know if I'm gonna do this one or just go for sparkle straight up. Congrats, Egan. That's right. Forgot about you, uh, you cheeky little dead branch. This damage sucks. I'm not happy about it. Yeah, brutality. I don't. I never take brutality, which is fitting that I died with it because I don't. I don't normally take it. Energy pot now. If I want to end the fight, I can energy pot now. I think it's necessary. So much on to normality. Turbo Plus. We do have Skewer. We do have Skewer. I mean, aside from Skewer, we have Backflip, and we have Hologram, and we have Backflip, right? So we can Hologram the Turbo and Backflip for more cards, and we can find card draw in general. Also, Dead Branch, and I could also, wait a second, Upgrade our Strikes and Defense, which is very good value here, but I do want to get rid of this damn Normality, so I'm conflicted. Like, I like all these upgrades, and I might like it more even, despite the fact I can remove Normality right now. We do have Discard in the Silent and stuff, so... Yeah, buddy. I could get Pendant Reaper here. For the healing. You're a little late to the party. I'm gonna look for Reaper. Let's see if I would have found it. Alright. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna take a look. And chat has to confirm that I'm seeing what I'm seeing. Oh, it's actually exactly happening. Oh my god. Becky, look at that butt. Okay. Alright. Change of plans, I think. Change of plans. Prism, you know, I gave you a shot, I think, at least 100 times. And in the run where I didn't want to have you, you came up anyways. And against my better judgment, here we are. I think we can manage an elite. 
with Ghost and Jar, if things get hairy, and I think Corruption and Dead Branches should be able to carry the fight. In the front, the first half of the fight, I should be fine, anyways. The other alternative is to upgrade. Yeah, I want to do two game, but I think with this corruption pickup, I can snag an elite here now. How we have Pennant right now. Pennant on the Reaper. Just for the healing. Do we care about the healing or do we or would we rather just get like more damage in? This might be Ghost and Dread turn right here. That's kind of nice. Is that big ghost? I, wait, I could do energy pot and keep ghost of jar and do energy pot now. It only lasts for two turns, or this turn or the next turn. By that point, I already have corruption out, right? At that point, I have corruption out and I win anyways. So just think about that. Energy pot is less value. But since this is pretty intangible for this turn and the next turn, at that point, I get corruption out. Corruption should win the fight for me, right? I would rather take Ghost Jar into the Sparkle. Hmm. Gotta make a decision. I could also just take the hit and get a heal. Hmm. I can hologram turbo, so this corruption is not as big of a deal in terms of energy. This does make my dexterity worse throughout the rest of the fight though. Does that matter if I'm doing corruption stuff? I mean, how strong, how much damage do I have anyways? Not he is taking a lot of damage right now because of cow traps. Uh, I already played, but the thing is, I'm going to be losing dexterity and that's kind of bad. I could, wait for, I could wait for Core Surge or something before I play that. That, that, that corruption has to carry us, basically. So we can do backflip. We can do turbo, hologram turbo, and get backflip, and then play corruption now. And just start going for it. Again, concentrate could have been actually useful there. Hourglass, nice. Course charge again. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Lava GG with the 241 host. Thank you, man. Thank you for the host. Appreciate that. Welcome, guys. Lava GG. A lot. Let me check. Thank you, dude. Super generous. We'll go ahead and give you a follow. And guys, feel free to give Lava a follow as well. Thank you, man. Okay. Yeah, whoa, day. what's up, man? I saw you in Tide Sting. Oh, uh, yeah, so we, we gave Prismatic a shot again, and we got Dead Branch from Calling Bell, of all things. And then we're like, okay, well, Corruption will be the dream, and here we got it. So we got Pummel, we got Core Surge again. Dude, Core Surge.
Oh, I should have. Oh, damn. We can always holler when we back, right? Grand finale. Testing, testing, are we here? Oh my god, the thing gets muted. Apologies, apologies. I gotta get a new USB thing. I gotta order that on Amazon. All right. I was saying what I saw you in tides. I was saying I'm, I was just trying to snap, snap some tips from him because I was gonna go for rope for the queen. Oh yeah, we seen funeral pain. That'd be awesome. Streamline seems open. Okay. Now I'm gonna skip here. Right, we should probably rush before we do the sparkle. Yeah. Either that or we try to upgrade corruption. Wait, so we just did the, we just did, what's it called? Book of Stabbing, right? So we're looking for, probably gonna see Gremlin or Slavers. I think Slavers is not too bad, considering we have Ghost and Jar and we have some good front-loaded. And I wanna get the Slavers out of the way. I mean, I wanna get the Sarko out of the way for Act 3, but I mean, with the corruption in my deck, I suppose Act 3. Another thing we consider is we have tiny chests. We have potential to find a lot of relics here. Like one, two, three, four question marks, right? And if I go to the right, we also get a store which we can remove normality. So either I take the sparkle now so I, I don't have to worry about it. Or I go for these potential relics. Let me see. I miss out on two campfires and an elite. Ori Calcum? Or is this time for Sapphire? I feel like Ori Calcum is not going to be good for this deck in particular, but with things like Ghost and Jar, I guess it's helpful. And I want to get the Sapphire, I want to get the keys out of the way. But Ori Calcum is pretty good with Piercing Whale. And maybe be more aggressive with Skewer. Also, if I run out of skills, you know, from uh, Normality. So this has got max HP. So max HP is a little annoying. Is that is that what I noticed? Okay. Reaper now is probably not bad. I just realized I don't have an energy relic. Only problem with Reaper now is that this, the, these guys are not going to die. But I just get this out of my deck. And I get a nice 12 heal. Plus I get Dead Branch.
Got to decide one sec. Okay. <clears throat> I think it's, it's for me it's more important to kill this guy right here though. What's out of my deck? This is gonna suck. They're gonna they're gonna attack me. I have Ocean Jar. Worst case scenario. It's okay. I guess we're going ghost, ghost in the jar, huh? I mean, we could always heal too. I didn't care about full blocking there. It's okay. So I'm trying to prioritize killing the minions. I don't have AoE in the deck. I'm good, Master. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I could probably get more out of Ghost, right? Let me see. Let's see what this gives me. Of course, I gotta focus on. The leader. Oh my god. We're not catching a break here. I wanna play Corruption. I think I just play it in pass. It feels like way too early to play Corruption right now, though. But since we have Dead Branch, I guess it's not early at all, right? Because we're always gonna get the skills. It's not really early. Wait, I can wait for Skewer. But I want to get the poison stacked up. Also, I want to see what this gives me. I mean, I suppose I could have saved Turbo because I have a hologram, right? How are we going to do this? I'm not sure. Oh, no, 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 not normality. No, that's actually such a... Oh, no, that's such a big deal. I should have waited. That's such a huge deal. Oh, I think now we lost because of that. That's a huge deal. Yeah, that definitely killed us. Maybe not, but that's a huge deal. Oh, that's massive, dude. Yeah, that probably kills us. Do I try to kill the minions here? Just worst case scenario. I gotta find a um There's two non skills, right? Dagathor should have some good decent odds here.
Just like a pen up here. Ooh. Okay. So flea flux, you gotta adjust on the fly. So the, it's important. The high, especially if you're on a higher ascension level, you can't really go into it and be like, oh, I want this to be my archetype. I mean, some people play that because this is how they like to play. They like, they like to have certain decks, but this, you have to adjust based on the cards you're offered, based on the boss fights, based on the potential leads, based on the potions. This game is all about adjusting. You can't, you can't force decks. You have to just adjust. Okay. Beam cell seems okay, but I think we really keep the deck small because we want to find it to these powers, right? Beam cell's not adding that much to my deck. Is it greedy not to rest here? There are certain fights that punishes us. I know I want to move my mother really bad. I know, I know. But I, I, I got greedy here because I want to get the key out of the way. I got pretty greedy. This guy could kick my ass a little bit, potentially. We do turbo hologram, turbo skewer, right? Decent damage. Is there anything better? I guess we can get rid of his artifacts. The voids coming up is going to be kind of bad. No, concentrate. No, not like this. Wait, can't I kill him? I oh, didn't I have lethal actually. If I did Caltrops flying knee strike, that was lethal. No, on the first hit, seventeen plus five. No, it wasn't lethal. All right. Oh, nice. Easy. Whew. Nightmare. I'm just very good with corruption in particular. Alright, so we can go for upgrades, or we can go for two of these things to potentially get a chest or a store. And we also get removal, right? There's three things we would like. A chest, a store, or removal. All three of those things. The thing is, we are running a little low on life, so we probably want to squeeze a rest in, just to be safe. Although the power of my deck, again, since it's so RNG-based, I can't really evaluate. But I feel like I could handle the collector. There's also a chance that I don't. Get the cards I need. Well, my thoughts are that I have to do corruption and have to take over, and I think that's very scary. Very scary. I think we have to get a rest, and we need life. I can try to focus the collector with, uh, and not worry about the AOE as much, but then we need stuff from corruption to save us since we don't have catalyst or anything like that. I mean, <laughs> very cool. Alright. Yes, I think we have to get the rest in here. That's unfortunate. See, I, don't, I want to get a potion, but I don't want to lose... Colorless cards could be interesting. But again, I can't really lose this life, can I? Colorless cards could be... Again, it's all such a crapshoot. This is not the event I wanted. At least not now. Colorless not worth the HP, but potion could be, but maybe also not. Damn. Do we have to rest again? What upgrades are we missing out on? I would say maybe the upgrade we're missing out on is like... I guess Prisimo Plus. I mean, honestly, we just need the, the rest.
We can't corruption now, though, right? Oh, or do we? And we say, listen, Dead Branch corruption is going to take the wheel. Hope all is well. All is well. Hey, thanks for six minutes in a row, man. Welcome back, dude. How you doing, Willis? Thank you. Play corrupt this early is kind of monk ass, but we have no AoE. You did, you did, Willis. This wasn't seeded either. I just I kind of went into this and I bought it right away. I was like, hey, let's do it. Against my better judgment, I always do this. Yeah, I want to survive it first. I know, I know. But I'm just thinking like... I can also get poison going. Get pen stacked. I don't think this is a good idea, guys. I don't think it's a good idea. We, we have life for a reason, so we should be able to wait. It does help us get Nightmare targets though, right? If we can get Nightmare on what? What would be a good Nightmare target? Corruption makes Nightmare playable. If we do Nightmare Turbo, we potentially go Turbo and Massive Skewer Pendib. That seems ridiculous, but imagine I do Turbo, 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 and Skewer Pendib with that. That's lethal right there. There's, there's a skewer, there's a finisher. We also can just take the, use our life as a resource and, you know, use our recalcum as well. I want to see something. I think it's important that I focus on the boss exclusively. And we can always hologram skewer. So if, let's say I find Nightmare Turbo next turn and I can get a hologram. I don't any Wally plans though. Let me see something. Ah, shit. That's tempting. That's tempting. Oh, sh yes, thank you. I have to forget about Penna at this point. Every single turn we get. Not sh I like that. Alright, amazing. It's amazing to me. All right, we, we don't have to. We don't have to be so boss focused now. We got, we got a lot of stuff. Okay, now we're just fatting the deck out like crazy, right? Shit. Oh my god. That's making the deck too thick. I guess we kill the minions now then? This is this is a bad idea. This kills the minis, but also mm. <laughs> Oh my god. This is, this is gonna be interesting. So we have Nightmare potential coming up, right? And Nightmare, I was thinking Turbo for Skewer Pendant, right? I still think it's a very nice way to get lethal since we have well plants. I might maintain that. I think Skewer's gonna be hard to find now. You could also Nightmare Distraction if you want to just get random skills and get Dead Branch value. So Nightmare Distraction basically means I just have two Dead Branch cards in one every single time. <laughs> Again, I'm still tempted to do Nightmare Core Surge though. I mean, sorry, Nightmare Turbo. 
I stopped fighting the deck so much. Well, yeah, Nightmare Construction will give us a lot of cards from Dead Branch, but I think it's more important that we find a way to kill the boss. Um, I mean, we, we also just can just kill him just by playing normally, right? Because we have a lot of value right now. I'm going to do it. Did I discard this turn? I'm not sure if I discarded. I don't think I did. Why malaise? Whoopsies. We got pendant, right? So if we find skewer next turn, it, it would be hilarious if it worked out right now if I get skewer next turn. It would be hilarious. Alright. This is fine. Let us just play cards. Bullet time? <laughs> I love bullet time when we have dead branch. Let me show you why. Let me show you why. We already have corruption though. I want to make sure I don't draw into. Okay. Oh my finisher! What? I potentially can get a um, pendant on this. Just don't want to draw into. Corruption. I don't want to draw into normality. Oh, I can't do it anymore. Oh, we can get pen up here. <laughs> Actually, the buffer's very really strong. On the other hand, there's also a... Uh... I can't believe I rested. Oh my god, I didn't trust... I didn't trust in the Corruption Dead Branch. I, I rested. I rested back to back. Ah, uh, silly me. Didn't need the rest at all. Like I said, I didn't. I wasn't sure how strong it was. It very strong, apparently. Okay. So then, it's not like I had that many upgrade targets, anyways. It's fine. I wanted. I want to get rid of. I want to get rid of normality, yes. But I had to discard for it. I could probably just discard it. So could dagger throw. The new form gives me scaling, right? When all of this fails. What I'm doing is damn corruption shenanigans. What it could be is like I buy time with corruption dead branch. And if we happen to man to lose skills and can't block anymore, at least we have strength, right? The buffer helps us be consistent against the heart as well. We gotta think about the hard fight, right? So if we if we're planning to do corruption dead branch, we're gonna be bloating our deck. And that's not necessarily a good thing against the heart. You wanna have reasonable and consistent ways to block consistently. I just said consistently multiple times. My bad. Yo, thanks for the follow, man. And hike. Take care, crack. What's up, crash? Crash ain't. I think buffer's good just because of the, for the heart, but also actual relief and helping me. If I don't find energy, help me buy time to play it safely, I suppose. And I, I like Buffer here. Demon Form is very good as well. We do have Reaper and we have Skewer. So Demon Form means that we can actually get a lot of healing as well with Pendiv. Oh, man. It's not seeded, nah. I just found this. I, I added to. I added the seed, though. So since I found this, I added the seed at the bottom. So now we have the seed at the bottom. Yeah, Demon Form with Reaper and Skewer might... Tip me over the edge here. Okay. Potions? I would say... 
What's up, JD? Not much, man. I would say that potions, I would... Might be the play here. Because I have core search times two, so things like speed pot. Exter uh, speed pot, steroid pots, ghost in the jars, you know, with the double core search, I can get a lot out of the potions, I would say. Uh, Astrolab is not bad. Maybe I'll get rid of one poison stab, one, maybe two strikes, one poison stab. And then Tiny House is, okay, gives us gold. Gives us a potion, max HP, and we get another upgrade, another card. Hmm. We had, we had a Philosopher's Stone and we had Hovering K and I chose Colin Bell. I'm going to get rid of Normality. I could, I could transform Normality, but I'm, I'm going to move it out of the shop ASAP, so I'm not going to waste a transform on that. I'd rather not trans waste transform. If we can never Reaper, we can never... Exactly, we have a lot of options. Um, I would say White Beast would be better than Tiny House. Astrolab could be... I'll go for White Beast here. Right, we gotta find a shop to remove this normality and we gotta get two keys. So since I wanna remove normality, I'm going to this shop, but I could go for these paths and maximize the leads. Unfortunately, I'm forced to remove. Unless we think we can get through all of this with normality in the deck. It's very, very silly and risky. We could do two elites anyways, but we get less campfire. So I really want to maximize elites and campfires. I can try to go RNG here. Hopefully events are nice for me. We have a lot of shop though. And we have a lot of money I mean, for shop. I want, I want to go for elites, yeah, for sure. I just don't know if just keeping normality in the deck that long is bad. No, I want to take the elites in the west path. I'm saying I, I think this deck can handle elites no problem. Do I have a favorite character? Hmm, not necessarily. I like I like them all, but I would say maybe Ironclad Defects. <sighs> Defects. It depends on the day. No, I think we don't skip the elites in the west side. I, I feel very confident about this deck destroying things. And I could be over, over hyping my deck right now. It's not. It's not like corruption is going to hit like that every single time, you know. That is something to consider. Yeah, corruption is not always going to be... Like, that pressure is not always going to be... That amazing. So. We get the energy, but... Hey, we want to be using potions. What if I draw into normality, though? How sucky is that going to be? I could fear pot kill this guy, or I could uh, try to find turbo. There's a chance of getting normality. Normality has to go, obviously. I can gamble all of these. I think no, no matter if it turns. Okay, I see. The chance of normality is probably not worth it, right? Let's just do this. Ooh. 
Without normally injected, I can be a lot safer. Ah, uh, backflip is really bad here. Did we, did we discard? Can't, I don't. I can't tell if I discarded or not. for a big reaper right uh, it's not big but it's that's as good as it's gonna get no how do we make this better can't really I could try to pen in bit let me see if I can pen in bit real quick no stack a pen up here Please let me get removal. But I mean, I suppose this is my fault. Stack is okay. It's block card. Oh, terror. I, think, I don't think we should be adding cards, but Terror is a card that I feel okay by adding, though. I don't really want to... I think Terror is okay as an okay addition. Stack. And we do need to keep blocking our deck. Please give me removal. Kunai. It's pretty damn good. Remove a card and upgrade a card? Or just remove? What, what would I upgrade here? A random card? I don't really care about... I mean, I guess Demon Form. It's only how much more gold? Very little. Got the Demon Form too. Holy shit. Okay. I feel good about going for oh, fights now. Shit. Let's go. Perfect. <laughs> we could do Nightmare Couch Ups. Why not? Nightmare Piercing Will. Yeah, that was not actual chest. Thanks for the Twitch Prime Wheel Metal. Welcome back, buddy. I know, normality's finally gone. Could have got core shirt. I mean, pen up there. Oh, hey. This guy's trying to kick my ass right now. It's messed up. How do we minimize this? What's the best way to minimize this damage right now? And dash. <clears throat> Voice crack, Jesus. Dash. We have Demon Form of Reaper, so I'm not as worried about taking damage. I can get more out of it, but at the same time... It's that stall. It's that stall the fight. Kind of scary, actually. This guy's not doing these multi hits at all. I don't get it. Damage versus footwork. Yeah, push for the damage here.
Should we get dexterity anyways? Now he does that. This damn dude. We well, do have demon form, right? So how much strength do we have? 12 strength right now? So skewer should be very powerful. I got rid of all my... Um... Well, can I just hologram finisher for the lethal here? Where's your hologram finisher? is lethal right now. Yeah, it's okay. Do I want to stack a pen up a little bit more? I have lethal in every single way. Sunder. Penib, and it also could potentially be useful for... I don't know about that. We don't really have AoE. At the same time, I don't want to blow up my deck too much. I think headbutt might be useful because we get a headbutt things. Like a power we might have missed or something we want to bring back instead of... I think headbutt might be the play. If not, skip. Skip right headbutt in my opinion. Hebba is very useful in decks like this. Especially since I don't have Welly plans. And I could use Headbutt for Nightmare. Maybe get Reaper when I need it. Was able to play Corruption, etc. Good Robin, how you doing? Thanks for the 245 bits, Master. I appreciate that. Just things to skip. I'm going aggressive with these elites, but I might regret it. I just realized giant head is kind of an issue. Giant head is kind of an issue. I don't have buffer. I don't have good upgrade targets either. I'm thinking Nightmare, but I don't think I'm ever going to use Nightmare without corruption first, right? In Shine Head Ascension, maybe we should rest. Hmm. This could be a fight a problem as well, actually. Oh, I forgot to get Kunai, my bad. This fight could be a problem. Reform. Footwork is footwork better. Since we we have dexterity, we'll be able to rest. So I can just take the hit here with footwork. We already did these core surge though, right? So we did. Did we prevent the whole thing altogether? I think we prevented it altogether. Okay. Allows me to be a little bit more aggressive here. Another after image? Wow. Nightmare couch ups could be a way to win. I can also nightmare the shiv. I mean this gives me damage, but it's kind of minuscule. What would be a better target out of this nightmare shiv? Just to get more cards. Because couch ups is a power that I have to play. I can remember the shift then. Just to get more cards. Although the amount of thorns is ridiculous. Just get this out of my deck. Keep forgetting to get the Kunai. Or rather, I don't have the energy really. Thousand cuts. And none of these are really that useful. Oh, 
I want to play Corruption as well. Yeah, Pendant. I kind of want to say Pendant for the Reaper. God damn it. I got the Reaper, but it's like... I got Nightmare next year for Reaper. That's useful. I'm going to save the Pendant then. I don't know why. I think it might be just dehydrated. Embarrassing. <clears throat> uh, spot weakness. We already have demon form, so I guess we don't need spot weakness. Although it can get a scaling quicker. Burst probably the best. It's either burst or escape, in my opinion. This is a nate. So we can get dead branch right right at the beginning of the turn. I think burst might be better though. Um. What, what, what's really useful about Burst here? Keep in mind, we don't have energy most of the time. So we're very reliant on finding Corruption soon in Turbo. So the more cards we add, we don't really have energy. The bigger the deck gets, the more scary this potentially is. A courier. A membership card. Membership card, but I don't know if it's going to be worth. Let me see. I do have courier, so it stacks with that, right? Is it additive or multiplicative? Panache. Well. I know the deck is thick. It was really bad. But we want to actually find a bottle tornado or something. But not, I don't really want to play corruption first turn either, though. If anything, a bottle tornado for demon form. Now we gotta keep the deck not much bigger than this. I think Burst is probably a bad pick. Anyways, Catalyst. It's kind of nice to just have in the deck. Now I don't really have that much poison, but we could argue that we have Poison Pot and we could find poison from Corruption. And just it's nice to have in the deck. Again, I think that's also going against what I'm just saying about keeping the deck small. This is where Dead Wrench. Yeah, but it's like early bloat or whatever. Panache is AoE for us, which is actually getting procs. Fairly often. Kunai, we have extra dex. We also get dex. With, so, yeah. With the Kunai, we get dexterity. Like a little stone at the beginning. Plus, we get three random cards. Gotta think about beat of the death, right? Beat of death. Now, Panache gives us some AoE, but it's... Don't know how relevant that is. What I want to draw into this power... Yeah, so I, I'm trying to decide whether or not membership is going to be worth. I'm thinking Ninja Scroll, sure. I just don't know if I like the bloke that much, actually. Pranash covers one week so far, as, and it will help against Reptomancer. But we do have Demon Form scaling, so we'll find AoE. What we need more than anything is things like Wraith Form, and we need uh, the Ghost and Jar and stuff. Ah. It's just because it's like a reroll. It's basically 61 gold to get a reroll of a relic right now. Which. Do we even decide what relic we really care about? 
Incense burner, sure, but that's way too expensive regardless. Oh, we can afford it. Incense burner would be great. That's kind of very rare to find. Yeah, panache, panache, panache. All right, I can save it for the next Act Four shop. I don't think the bloat's worth it with Ninja Scroll. But who knows, it could, it could be something nutty as well. It could just be like... I don't know if... I don't, I don't think we... Tornado Corruption. Because that's not something I want to play first turn. If anything, we want to Demon Form first. We want to get Demon Form out there. Out and about. And then, once that Scaling is already behind us, I feel okay about doing Corruption, because at that point, I have Scaling to, to rely on. I can Corruption with Nelly. So I'm probably going to move a Strike here. Yeah, so right now, if I bought Whetstone, Instant Burner would be, I think, like 120 something, 130, 120 something. We would just barely have enough. So normally, I think, I'm saying, I think Instant Burner is normally like 347, right? I'm, 347 is the number that comes to mind. And a range of like 340, maybe 338, 350 to that range. I don't agree on Ninja. I don't agree ninja here. We could finish this with a big turbo here, I suppose. Ah, eh, it's fine. That's corruption. Play corruption now? Yeah. Oh wait. Nightmare. We could do Nightmare on the uh, skewer. Nightmare demon form is crazy. Nightmare and Skewer just means we have a lot more of this floating in our deck. We should always have... It also gives you more frequent night procs as well. Skewer for zero. Nightmare Demon Form is ridiculous. I think Nightmare Defend is even good as well. Nightmare Demon Form is ridiculous. It's totally not necessary. That's how we're going to do it. It's totally not necessary. Poison's very nice, but I want to... Here we go. We do get Pendant right here. I mean, Panache. That doesn't matter, though. Team Form could kill me, by the way. I can't, I can't really play them. <laughs> Potion. Cloaking Dagger is kind of good. It's a block and gives us some dead branch. I like Cloaking Dagger. Although we gotta make a decision now if we want to add more cards. I don't think we do.
Just in case you missed a vegan, we also have corruption. <laughs> yeah, I like cloak. Alright. Where's where's the uh poor search? Hey, why not? So this sure might be useful. This is fine. I got panache. Sure. Damn, that sucks. That's a little less sucky. Still kind of sucky. I think I want to play dance. See what we get here. I could have played demon form though. I just did, like footwork. Deflect demon form. So can we take damage? Actually, have reaper. That, that's such an awkward uh, interaction there. Major bloat coming in. Okay, we'll try to do a um, Reaper pen up here. I want to draw into that, and I'm going to do Reaper. Um, I'm going to skip here. I mean, Flechesh is really good damage, and it dumps her demon form, but I think we have damage in other ways. Let's just keep it, Let's just keep it the, way it's, the way it's at right now. That's an awkward structure of the fight, but again, okay, we have potions we could use them just to avoid wounds in the deck. Seems okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. I want to avoid wounds. I want to avoid wounds, so I'm going to go ahead and not diversify the damage here. Kind of sucks we're taking damage though, just in general. Right, time to corruption, baby. Something we want to keep first, like backflip, or we want to corruption straight up. I feel like we want a corruption straight up. I don't really. Yeah, we can corruption straight up. We got Reaper again. So the chest is massive, right? Oh, not necessarily right now, but we have Nightmare. We can Nightmare Reaper to always get more healing, or what's a better target? Maybe like Cloak and Dagger? It's a better target here. Cooking Dagger is probably the best target right now that I could see. Sure. Reaper is AoE. But yeah, I think Cooking Dagger is fine. Oh, I can also do footwork. Because I had burst. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm trying to do pen up here, but I don't think it matters. Oh my god. The hell? <laughs> I didn't get the heal, it's okay though. Let's do hologram. 
Well, Hollywood upgrade is not that great because since we were going to be um, getting rid of it anyways, right? I just wanted to like just do everything, but we could have. It would have been better to do the Reaper, so I don't. I'm not this old life. I hope that just might be in the ass. It potentially could. I think getting this more shivs, right? For more dead branch, or getting this to be a little bit more damage since we're proccing this pretty often. Hmm. Sharp is great. We've got Nightmare Cloak and Dagger. Okay. What about Nightmare Turbo? I like Turbo just for energy purposes, since we kind of do lack that a little bit. Nightmare Cloak and Dagger is kind of nuts. It makes the deck really bloated. Unless we get something else here. Let me see. Really? Alright, let's hold the phone. Actually, let me get water real quick, because I... Be right back. Alright, yeah, we had to um, feed the dogs too. Alright. So the number one thing here is like, what's gonna be... You know, that's how you know me from YouTube Unicorn? Really? <laughs> Interesting. It's interesting. Okay, so... <clears throat> Nightmare Demon Form, I suppose, would be like... I don't know if I can be able to play them, but if I can play them all, then the fight's pretty much over, right? I think it might be better to do Nightmare Cloak and Dagger to have more skills in the deck and just... Also get more Kunai procs, you know? Why never this? I, I can do Turbo. And then Demon for Corruption and then Nightmare of the Cloak and Dagger. I can also keep a skill before I... Corruption, right? I could keep a defender or something. Not that I don't know if it matters. Or you can bring something back with headbutt. Like turbo or something. To play more cards next turn. Or backflip. I mean. Let's go ahead and do. I don't really have to overthink it, I don't think. I guess Corsair is a better thing to play, my bad. Oh my god, Nightmare again? What the hell? Okay, I'm kind of curious to... Thousand Cuts? Oh, maybe I get Panache here. If I find Panache... So let's say... Okay, I'm drawing too much, but let's say I do hologram and I find Panache with acrobatics and a neighbor that. Let me see something here. Of course, I'm bloating my deck, but I'm also getting all the planes. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, I can't do acrobatics, but I can do backflip. Right. Oh, I got all the planes. Okay. Nightmare and Venom. Thousand Cuts is probably better to Nightmare, honestly. And Venom could be interesting. We have so many options, it's ridiculous. Infinite Blades, that's a good target as well. I can I can go for perfect here. Might as well, right? Corpse Explosion? Oh, that's huge. That is huge. I wish I could play it, but unfortunately I'll just use it for the debuff then. I should have done finisher, right? Whoopsies. It's okay, I don't, I don't think it matters. I 
Hope we find energy in some way. Storm of Steel. That's ridiculous. Uh, we can always do that after the fact. I want to find energy so I can do a finisher here. Alright, let's, let's, let's win the fight right now. We got bullet time. We actually got bullet time. Stupid. We actually got bullet time. Oh, I forgot to heal. Fuck, I got carried away again. Damn it, I got carried away again. Alright, we can't do the same thing here, though. Forgot to heal. That's That, that might have been the butt. Keep getting carried away. This fight is actually much harder. Uh, we also not, might not get as lucky with Demon from Corruption. This deck is so loose for sure. Let's just get the heal there. I can get a Kunai proc, but I can't. I do anything to Twitch Prime. That's a demon form. There's a nightmare. Nightmare piercing well is interesting. Um, we don't have energy right now. Big demon form now and hope for the best. We need corruption to come in huge. No, I think yeah, I think we could be fine. Uh, I would have had twelve more HP, right? Okay. But anyways, I think we'll be fine. We just need a dependent corruption here. And hope for the best. Let me see here. Hmm. We do hologram and then bring backflips. We have block. I really want to play this card though. Peace will gets better later on, but I think once we get corruption out, we should be okay. Hmm. I do need passive scaling. I do need to play new form. I really do. But I'm trying to say maybe we can also draw the turbo or something else. There's a lot of good stuff coming up that we have to draw into. I'm trying to mitigate some damage now. I can't afford to play Night Nightmare right now either. Like I do need the passive scaling, but it might be more important to block some of this damage. I don't have any Kunai procs either. So we can go for three more attacks, get a Kunai proc. Now we need Demon Form. Let's either do a hologram backflip and try to get lucky here and find a weaken since we. Hmm. Alright. Question is to Terror now or not to Terror now? So we can bring Nightmare back. If we bring Nightmare back, I could Nightmare on the Reaper and strike healing up to full. Or I can do Nightmare on Cloak and Dagger coming up. Which is kind of bad considering the amount of the shivs we're playing against Time Eater. Reaper might be the best thing to say heal back up. So I bring back Nightmare. We really gotta find Corruption though. We could do Nightmare now. No, we... we this is rough. 
I might push him forward. So I have more cards to play next turn. Well, I can't do that without playing prepared. So I, got, I, I kind of screwed up the nightmare thing there by doing that. By doing the... Uh, we still have hologram as a possibility. But yeah, but... but fuck. Fuck. Because I, I want to be able to play more than two cards. I might, might be screwing this up a little bit. Okay. Okay. I hope for the best. So, like I said, we could hologram nightmare corruption, then play nightmare reaper, and that can be our way to heal back up. Should be fine. No, I should put corruption first. First off, I don't think I don't see a better target. I'm, I'm not gonna worry about. Um, I, I don't see a better nightmare target. I mean, if you find my laser or something, I don't see a better nightmare target. Wraith form. Sort of a better nightmare target, actually. We just raid from as much as we can, and then we get demon form scaling until we have lethal. Well, that's kind of a better target, isn't it? If only I could bring back burst as well. There's a chance we can find burst, right? If I do this, I can find burst, get burst nightmare. That's a very low chance. Raid from works as, as well, yeah. I think raid from. Might be a little bit safer because it's just in, straight up intangible and we can counteract with Kunai if anything. Plus, we have Core Surge. So, we can Nightmare Wraith Form and then do Reaper now. I'm not going to proc him this turn now. We can always find Reaper from Dead Branch. We can't find Reaper again from Dead Branch. That's the thing. And this keeps getting more and more healing. Mm. You think Wraithform you think Wraith is safer? The thing about Wraithform is that I won't be able to play all of them in one turn. And then I would, I guess I'll have them sprinkled into my deck and I'll find them here and there. Does damage as well. Could have got Pranash proc, but I don't care. So let's do these reform and just pass and let our uh, scaling get to go to work. See if we can proc him this turn, maybe, so I can buy time for next turn. But also keep the skills. We're gonna have a big turn with Glass Knight, but I want to be able to have time with that turn, right? So let's let's look for. I want to I want to proc him here. Stop, buddy. Stop treating my food. What are you doing? Oh, that'll be nice for the courses first.
pretty close to lethal too, though. I'm not, I'm not sure if we race for game, actually. I'm not sure. I don't think we do. I already penned it. It's the only downside, but I got rid of the fight, you know. I, I didn't keep penned it for the, the act for lead, but maybe we could have done it a little bit better. Like, we're probably completely fine. I could have tried to stack up for act for lead. Mm. I, think we, I think we rest here. I don't see any good upgrade targets. I think we rest here. Just kind of bad resting when he could heal out pretty easily. I guess Panache would be pretty good for this. Yeah, Panache is not a bad upgrade for this fight. Hey, it doesn't seem that powerful though. This this, this fight could kick my ass. I don't I don't have demon form, so I don't have brave form or like ghost in jar or anything like that. So I could just die in this turn, actually. Should I just rest and call it a day? <laughs> Fine, what, let the worst happen. Whatever whatever happens, happens. Alright, we have uh, membership what and we have Couriers. Let's see what happens here. One fight hand is very good. Burn pot could be useful. I think skill pot could be useful. Dexterity pot is probably pretty useful as well. I like dexterity pot. I like the mummified hands. Shit. Okay. Mummified is very good. Another panache? Double panache? No, no, no. Mummified hands is very good though. Bottle tornado. Really? Really, really, really? I think we go for potions here. Or we can remove as well. Can't do both. I mean, we're getting potion from the fight anyway, so it seems kind of bad to upgrade to buy potion, but I'm scared of this fight. Card draw. Yeah, if we got strawberry in the bottle, yeah, that would have been sick, huh? Strawberry into bottle. But you think corruption from first round against your heart still makes it invincible, though? Strawberry is probably better than just buying a potion, no? I kind of want to move a strike. Yeah, I know there is, Sir Joe. It's right here. You think max up is more important than moving to strike? I can't remove him by potion. The heart, the the, the worst shards we get is because we have strike. So let's go for it. Draw cards. You have six in your hands. Card draw. I don't know how often we're gonna make use out of expertise though. And with turbo and steam barrier stuff, we might get value out of expertise. Team <laughs> from first turn. Hope for the best next turn. Scary stuff. We do some dead branch searching now. And then prison whale. I 
We can dig. Corruption. I can hologram neutralize piercing well. Buy some life. Not an F. Hologram neutralize piercing well is already fine. Another thing we could do is um dig. A lot of good cards coming up. Also, poison bot could have done that as well. Maybe it's better to do poison bot so I can get the weaken and the piercing well. Maybe that's better. I don't care about the poison pot that much. Get survivor here. Only problem is I don't want to do back in case I draw into corruption, right? I know we have a hologram to bring it back. So if I do find it's not the worst. What would be the upside of backflipping? Getting terror out, panache out. Maybe find turbo and steam barrier. Turbo for... What if you find corruption and hologram? That's the worst case scenario. Risk it versus pen up stack here. Also kind of sucks we lost our, some of our skills. Alright. So we just gotta find corruption. So I think we're gonna do hologram and backflip, or what's a better way to draw here? Expertise doesn't quite take us there, right? Actually, this would be more draw, isn't it? Let me see. Turbo, Steam Barrier, Terror. One, two, three, four. Actually, this is more draw. Do we have the energy after the fact to play it? I think we're going to bring... As the question is, who am I tearing? I guess I can tear his spiritual, but he always has shield. Negative one focus. I don't want to waste any more cards. Right, dead branch. I should wait first. I should wait. I can get the weak in here. Because I do want to hologram the expertise, right? And then make my decision based on what I get. Unless I just want to kind of just weaken and please turn out regularly. Can we even get lethal this turn potentially? Let me see. Wait. 1, 2, 19, 18. Three, seven. Plus four. I think we have lethal, actually. Definitely. I'm trying to see how I can make it so that I just get the bare minimum and save it for something else. Well, I guess I'll just go for it then. We can weaken this guy again. Seems fair. Got another Kunai proc. Gonna find corruption and we're good. Or we can just do this, which is pretty decent as well. Corruption next turn is guaranteed lethal now. Skewer's not lethal, is it? Not lethal, no. Anyways. <clears throat> Try to get Pe Reaper, more importantly. I want to say Pendant for Reaper. So I'm not going to headbutt at all, I don't think. I just want to get some healing from Reaper. So I'm going to do this. Eh. I mean, if it's a free Nightmare, I guess I'll do... Do have corruption, right? Oh, but we might die. It's, it's actually, we need to do this to not die, right? Yeah, never mind. Forget about Reaper. Just have to do this. To... What's that, buddy? Oh, we just barely don't have. So the first hit will kill him. 
He dies in the first hit. The first hit kills him. You could do corruption and core surge and then try to find some stuff of burst and stuff like that and try to get full block and then go for Reaper. But this right here is lethal. I don't know how greedy I want to be because I don't have that much life so I'm, I could try to risk it and see if I can get block right here. Just kill him now. Yeah, the nightmare wasn't the problem. My ha a hand that I drew was this, two burns and three three cards instead of the hand right here. I forgot that he doesn't burn again. I'm trying to decide how weird I want to be. So I, the Reaper once will be enough. You think that branch is going to be kind to me? Yeah, but he dies in the first hit, so I take three damage and he dies to cow traps. He dies to cow traps. So I can kill him this turn, but I want to try to squeeze our Reaper, I think. Okay, let me see. So we're, we're going to do Greedy, yeah? Here's the thing. If I... If I'm Greedy, then I have to heal... 30-something. You go play with your brother. Go play with your brother. Hacking dangerous greed, do you think so? The burns are kind of awkward. I think we okay, that's okay. Entropic is nice. To, okay, this is not bad. The chest is good for damage, but I think we don't need that. We need to just find our stuff. Okay, this could be our saving grace. Stuff bandages could be really nice for us. Alright. Let's go. How do we... What's the best course of action right now to maximize finding... Corruption, right? So we do Survivor Burst, and we discard two cards, play Steam Barrier. Could even let... So what we can do is Centennial Puzzle. So let's say we do like Burst first. Centennial Puzzle will get draw. Let's run off with that. Or we could do... That makes the play a little bit worse with Bursts. So I can do like the Burst Survivor, discard, discard, and then... Yeah, I don't know. I figured we should do Centennial Puzzle though. You won't get extra draws if you Centennial, but we get Centennial. <laughs> so there's that. Unless you want to go for... Let's do this. Burst, Survivor, Survivor, and try to get expertise going right now. No problem, this is bursted, so how can we make it so that we get a better burst here? I can hologram and bring burst back. Because expertise burst, it doesn't really help at all. So we can do hologram twice, but then we then the energy is a problem, right? So now expertise, if I draw into corruption, I can't play it. So this is really bad. Just realized. Yeah, we got energy from turbo. Yeah, this is really bad. We can't. I didn't think it through in terms of energy. Guess we can look for a weekend, but if we find into demon form, is it the worst thing in the world if we? Prematurely find demon form or whatever. We have another hologram in the deck, so it's not the end of the world. So now we gotta ask ourselves is it better to do hologram twice just so we get one more expertise? We skip a turbo. I don't want to expertise twice. But by doing hologram first, I'm getting ready one energy. What would I need one energy for? Or surge maybe. So I don't. I think maybe we don't care about getting hologram first because we don't care about. We want to potentially play core surge as well. <coughs> as well. Let's give less cards because we can play steam barrier. It's the same thing. We get less energy. Yeah, it doesn't work out that well. Alright, it's okay. 
It's pretty ideal. I want to save Reaper. Got the corruption. And now we can do this to get card draw. I also got Panache. And now we pop off. So what do we nightmare here? Nightmare Panache interesting damage, but I think we need to be more these damn wounds and birds can mess me up really bad. Maybe cloak and dagger. But either way, we're getting some centennial right now. We could headbutt something. We could headbutt the birds, nightmare multiple things. So what I could do is like headbutt the burst and maybe nightmare panache and something else. I don't think that's that useful though to nightmare that. We definitely want to draw first though. Question is are we drawing something from a headbutt like piercing wheel? Probably. I think Nightmare Fabric might be the play. Nightmare Fabric might be the play, right? Does help a little bit, I would say. Playing uh, gives me takes more damage now. Maybe Panache gives beat of the drum, but maybe that's not that big of a deal. Just get it out of the deck. Yeah, I'm gonna find it. So three four works is easier to play with energy wise, but uh, it's wasting the, the nightmare. Uh, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, I'm trying to prevent getting any more B of the drum. I think my life's kind of precious. Although, I can play one for work now. Nah, it's too much damage. And we need to make sure we can survive this. How are we going to survive this? Is the question. If only I could course search the. the, the um, What's it called? The Vulnerable. Because we don't get frail. It's not F necessarily. We can get lucky. How many footworks do we play before we start playing our draws? I think we have to start with every single footwork and hope for the best. We have to play every single footwork first beforehand. Let's get one. Okay, I think we play footwork, footwork. The thing is, we could use the footwork to meet random or something else. Oh, that's good. That helps. Kind of unlucky. Uh, we can draw to something. So we have one, two, one, two, three, four, four decent draws. I would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bad draws. Okay, so quick slash is kind of bad. I want to play footwork again, but at the same time, I need more block. This is really bad. I gotta get lucky. Unload does give me discard with tough energies, so that's something I can consider at some point. It's too many damn footworks. Uh, <clears throat> I can get another dead branch here. Maybe this is the, this is the tipping point. I get to go here. Yeah, I don't want to inform just yet because I want to. Uh, I expect I should save energy, right? I know I can proc can and can hit forward as well. Hmm. 
I guess I play it anyways. Okay. I don't I don't know if I play forward yet just because I the energy is such a problem here. But since this is zero cost, we could utilize that as another target that forward can hit, right? So so I do footwork. It's the energy that's a problem though, because I want to be potentially drawn to quick slash and get lucky if all this fails. A very long way to go, yes. I know, I know, I know. Oof. Ah. I didn't want to have to depend on this quick slash. I didn't want to have to depend on this. Oof, bad odds. Bad odds, bad odds, bad odds. Still, I'm still not out of the woods yet, though. That gives me weaken. That gives me weaken. Is that even good for me right now? Was that enough? If, wait, did I just give myself not by playing extra cards? Like, I was thinking I should keep unload, right? But weaken's not enough, though. Is it? I think I should have not played as many cards that I just did. No, it's not enough. Still get, still getting exhausted. Make it a skill. Oh, I played one extra card too many. No, I have region. I'm fine. I have region. I'm fine. I could, and it's not going to try going more because I have. So I have region, so I could play. I could play one more card. Let me see. No, one more card. I'm suicide. Hmm. Let's see. I want to get another Kunai proc. It's kind of greedy, though. I can play endless because I want to maybe dig for more block. Just want to get more block so I don't have to depend so much on. I want to have to maintain my life. It also gives Kunai proc, but let me see. Can we afford to play it? We are at 52. I can play one card, yeah? Alright. Fine. Survive. Alright, now what can we do to start popping off? Reaper right now gives us some life back. We have to use hologram very, very... What's the best hologram play? You bring us some life to work with. We can hologram... Get Panache out, get another footwork out. What's more important is that we need block next turn. Make sure it's looking really bad. I don't have Nightmare anymore either. I think we have to do as much as possible here and see what happens. We have Pendip for Reaper, so that helps us out. The thing is, I can't... I have to see what this is first. Okay. Actually, we can get Pendip Reaper here. Headbutt. Ah, headbutt. I need headbutt. If I headbutt, if I bring hologram headbutt, I can headbutt. What would be the best thing to headbutt next turn? Hologram again. So next turn we use, we use headbutt on hologram, and then we ho next turn we have hologram, and we can use that to get whatever we want. And we can head, we can hologram 
another block or something like that. Of course, we're running out of skills. Alright, so Headbutt is the play here. Although Reaper does heal us, of course. But we can always Reaper next turn. Alright. I'm pretty sure I'm secure in Headbutt here. Just want to get the Weaken out. Storm is very good to have in this deck, just in general. It gives me a block. And I get a lot of Kunai procs. And it just fattens the deck. Maybe it fattens the deck with good things. Storm Show is something I actually want to headbutt next turn. But I can't. Storm right now? I, I think I still want to headbutt so I don't have nothing next turn. We can find blurs and stuff. So I do want to headbutt just so next turn is not complete dud. But also, if I headbutt... Hologram and then let Storm go away. Next turn I can play it. So we hollow that next turn and not play that now. I don't think we would play it now. I think what's more important is we get this power out of the deck. And we set up Pendip Reaper potentially if he gets down to that. And we keep that in discard so we can hollow it next turn. Question is we want to get Thousand Guys out of the deck? I think so. No, no, I, I think you know, we, can, we still get Pentamendians because we can get neutralized. So I'm gonna go ahead and play all thousand cuts here. All right, let's do it. Pentam is all right. Should be fine. I mean, technically, we also could. Get a Kunai proc here and not. So, why am I saving Pendib? Have corruption. Have corruption. It's always gonna be zero. But I mean, yeah, the void means I don't wanna discard the void, is what you're saying? The Pendib Reaper? Yeah, I know. I'm keeping it for Reaper, but the thing is. Am I gonna haul a Reaper? Next turn's gonna be really scary, I feel like. I think we have to haul a Storm of Steel. I think I'm Halloween Storm. I, I don't care about the pendant. I don't know what's coming up. It's coming up next year. The void sucks, but we suck. we're keeping a lot of bad stuff on the deck if we storm or steal this. But Reaper's not gonna be enough. So Reaper's gonna be six strength. It's like a thirty something. Um, no, it's not even. It's like a thirty heal, right? Reaper's thirty heal. Nah, because I had tough bandages, so Stormer still pays for itself in whole. I heal 30 with Reaper, which does give us some life to work with. I know, it's, this is a thinking one, because we're on 1 HP right here. Hologram is black, but not only that, tough bandages is, is, works with Stormer Steel. I get the block before the beat. Stormer is also a very good block for me as well. I need piercing wall too, Jesus Christ. This gives me Kunai. Alright. Not to mention, if we haul the Stormer Steel, we can get Pendant back easily. So we didn't draw to Void, which is not bad. And we just gotta hopefully get something to manage his strength. So right now I think we go for the... Well, I also don't really want to get rid of Sunder's Bane with Storm of Steel, but maybe that's not that big of a deal. If we had Reaper here, we would have been able to hold it and get out of the deck and also have a nice heal. I think... My dog is crying. Give me a sec. Yeah, we only discard three cards. Well, this exhausts itself, so we discard four cards. I 
I should have played Panache at some point. There's so many things I need to play. And then my next draw is gonna be interesting. I wonder if burst is better. Cause then I can burst the turbo and hope. To, but then I'm forced to get lucky. Three turbo first. Putting a void back in the deck is a little bit risky as well. That's another Stormer Steel though. That's very good. Alright, my dog is crying. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Get rid of the artifacts here. Should, should I just not do that much? Wait, I should just... I'm gonna go out. I'm feeling confident. Maybe this is... I feel fine about this. I need, I need the dexterity. Got bursts. I could do doppel. I could do unload. I might have killed myself. Maybe. I see any block. I have a lot of dexterity. I just see any block. Ah, oh, fuck me, dude. I, I I should play. It gets rid of my energy, but I have concentrate, right? And I need. I need to exhaust. The problem with concentrate is that it. That one doesn't kill me because I can exhaust and I can play more cards anyways because I have Tactician with Concentrate. Does Dagger Third Tactician count as skill exhaust? No, it doesn't. But we just need to find skills. I can do Burst Adrenaline here. Stormer Steel now. Stormer Steel gets played twice. Now, the problem with Stormer Steel is that it gives me a crazy amount of block, but maybe it's more important that I get rid of the Void. The damage, we're doing some damage though as well. I know we gotta defend. I know. I see it. I see it. I seem to defend. The Stormer still is defending in his own way because of tough finishes. We get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and it gets played twice because of bursts. So it's 9, 9, 9. It's going to be a lot of block. I know the defense bursty, but I want to keep that in my deck, I would say. Oh, but I don't want to get a whole bunch of ships in my deck. So that is a consideration. I can play this, get it out of my deck. I can just end the turn. How do I guarantee that next turn is not going to be a complete bust? Find a headbutt again? What if we find Reaper right now? What if I find Reaper? Reaper would be pretty nice right now, actually. What about finding Blur as well from Stormer Steel? Is this worth playing just to get out of my deck? Or... So... I need Blur. That would be a good target to find. Maybe I could find... Skewer. The extent is very important, but we suffer from not being able to draw. But next time we have Doppelganger, no? We played a lot of Doppelganger, and we have Rayform as well. You might find Nightmare right now. Nightmare, for, night, Nightmare Rayform would be get, GG. Okay, so we could do. 
Jesus Christ. Um, I need Nightmare, potentially. Oh no, I got rid of the, the damn thing. I didn't like that. I didn't like that it got rid of the bull time core search thing. A lot of dexterity. So it would suck if I can't find block next turn. I want to play this so I have more chances of finding block. Um, I don't think we're going to draw back into this deflect anytime soon, so I'm going to play it. That catalyst. I could do Contra Doppelganger, yes, but we already have Doppelganger already out for, I believe, 12 cards, 12 energy next turn. We're drawing 12 cards and 12 energy next turn. So if we can't find block like that, then I don't know what the hell. We're, getting, we're already getting 13 energy next turn. So Doppelganger's not that important. Because I played Burst Doppelganger to, in order to get a skill so that I wouldn't die. And that's what happens. All right. Um, maybe knife. I'm looking for nightmare for ray form. I'm not gonna draw back into this. I do want to keep the piercing wall though. You can draw another card. Storm steel again. I, that would be nice to have next turn. Right? Oh, we got that from Dead Branch just now. Um. Alright, so we're drawing 12 cards. We also have... We should be fine. I don't know. Maybe just reform now. Why not just reform now so next turn I don't die? Wait, why not just reform now? What am I talking about? I already have so much dexterity. It doesn't matter. Yeah, what the hell? I just reform now. Okay. I can still find... Um, Nightmare anyways. Our damage is actually kind of nuts as well. I kind of I want to play this. Match of normality in this deck. Another thousand cuts. If we're lucky, we can play thousand cuts again at the reform. Nice. All right, let's just end now. I can get a skewer proc. I mean, another kunai proc if I if I really want to. What am I scared to be drawn into? Panache? I'll play it. Okay, 7 to dexterity. Okay. So finding Malaise randomly would be amazing, right? You can also just unload. <laughs> no. Let's just play one defend then. Alright. We gotta we gotta do damage, right? Because we are getting close to killing him as well, so let's just do damage. What would I headbutt next turn? I can find Reaper now, actually, potentially. We do Stormer Seal all again. Wait, next time we do Skewer. With Tenet, we should have Lethal, no? If I do Skewer. One more time for the memes. The pen of skewer damage cap next turn is damage cap is it cap let me see ah he can't die okay fair enough all right next turn we do summer steel that's more like it A. Hey. 
I decided against it. I don't know, I just felt like doing that. I should have maybe kept it, my bad. I'm getting, I, I'm getting carried away. I don't need another Kunai proc. Alright. So Reaper heals us. Skewer wins, no? Man, that was stressful. Holy God, but we did it. Dead Branch Corruption did it on the silent. It was like down to the nitty. What What did it? It was like Quick Slash had to find something and it did. Man. Long run, but that was a good one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it.